Hi everyone, this video is about mathematical induction. So what is that? Mathematical induction is one of the techniques that can be used to prove several mathematical statements which are formulated in terms of n and where n is any positive integers. And there are three steps to remember. First is that to prove or to show that the statement is true if n is equal to 1 or any fixed natural number. After that, test or assume that the statement is also true if n is equal to k. Okay. And then the last one is to prove that n is equal to k plus 1. So let's try some examples. Show that 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 2n minus 1 is equal to n squared. So the first step is to show that the statement is true when n is equal to 1. Okay, so let's replace that, the n, with 1. So it's 2n, so 2 times 1 minus 1 is equal to 1 squared. So 2 times 1 is 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 squared. 1 is equal to 1. So after we establish that, we go to the next step is to assume that the statement is true for n is equal to k. So that would look like 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus dot 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 plus 2k minus 1 is equal to k squared. Okay? And then the third step is to assume that if n is equal to k plus 1, which is the next term after k, the statement is still true. So that would be 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus dot 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 plus 2k minus 1 plus, so the next term, k plus 1, so that would be 2k plus 1 is equal to k plus 1 squared. Okay, as you will notice, this term is equal to k squared, right? So we can just replace that with k squared. So k squared plus this to k plus 1 is equal to, let's expand this, so this will be k plus 1 times k plus 1. So, using FOIL method, this will be k squared plus 2k plus 1. And that is equal to the left side of the equation. Next example, show that 1 squared plus 2 squared that the dot plus n squared is equal to n times the quantity n plus 1 times the quantity 2n plus 1 all over 6 for every positive integer n. So the first step is to show that the statement is true if n is equal to 1. So that would be 1 squared is equal to 1 
times 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 times 2n, 2 times 1 plus 1 is 3, all over 6. So 1 squared is 1. 1 times 2 times 3 is 6 out of 6. So 1 is equal to 1. Next step is to assume that when n is equal to k, this statement is true. So it will be like this, 1 plus 2 squared, 1 squared plus 2 squared plus dot 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 plus k squared is equal to k times k plus 1 times 2k plus 1 all over 6. And then we'll assume that the next term after k, so that would be k plus 1, will also be true for this statement. Okay, so that would be 1 squared plus 2 squared plus k squared plus the next term k plus 1 squared is equal to k plus 1 times k plus 1 plus 1 times 2 k plus 1 plus 1 all over 6. So once again, this term is equal to the right side of the equation in our second step. So let's substitute that. So we have k times k plus 1 times 2k plus 1 over 6 plus k plus 1 squared over 1 is equal to, let's simplify this, with k plus 1 times k plus 2. So let's substitute, uh, distribute 2. So this will be 2k plus 2. And then we have plus 1. So we have 2k plus 3 all over 6. Then let's simplify. So let's multiply both sides by 6. So this will be k times k plus 1 times 2k plus 1 plus 6k plus 1 squared is equal to k plus 1 times k plus 2 times 2k plus 3. Then we can also factor out k plus 1. So here we have one more k plus 1. And there. So we're left with k times 2k plus 1 plus 6 times k plus 1 is equal to k plus 2 times 2k plus 3. So this would be distribute k. So this will be 2k squared plus k plus distribute 6. So 6k plus 6. Let's simplify. Let's. So 2k squared. 6k plus k plus 7k plus 6. Okay, using the FOIL method, let's simplify this. 
So 2k squared plus 3k plus 4k plus 6. So this is 2k squared plus 7k plus 6. So we're done.